Hi everyone, I'm going to demonstrate the conventional way of performing intern zeroing and calibration using the traditional method versus the USB internal zeroing and cal. So this is our typical power meter and power sensor setup. Right now, I'm going to hook up the power meter and power sensor. Let's start the clock. So one side, I'm going to hook up to the channel A. And here, I'm going to hook it up the sensor to the 15 megahertz reference port. Now I'm going to select Cal, Cal 0 plus Cal, and 0 plus Cal channel A. So now let us wait. Hmm, I think this is going to take us a while. Imagine you have to do this at the beginning of each shift. Okay. So now we are going to start, going to exceed the one minute mark. So we just completed the zeroing and now we are doing the calibration on the sensor itself. Okay, here we go. Finally, it's done. So our clock here shows us is one minute marked to perform the conventional way of doing the zero and cal for the conventional sensor. Now let us take a look at the Keysight patented internal zero and calibration features. Here we have the same setup, except that we are now using the USB power sensor. Let's start the clock. All you need to do, just plug in the USB port and this you do not need to connect to the 50 megahertz reference port. So that is the good thing that you, know, you eliminate one step of doing the internal zero and cal over here. So now I think it's about to complete the internal zero and cal, so let us wait. There you go. So as you all can see over here, it takes half of the time compared to the conventional way of doing the internal zero and cal for the power meter and power sensor. So this is how powerful is our Keysight patented internal zero and cal. Now let's take a closer look on the Keysight patented internal zero and cal in our USB power sensor. I think not most of you know that, you know, the moment you hook up the USB power sensor into a USB port, for example, like this, I'm hooking up to a U laptop, you can actually see that, you know, there is a blinking LED on the behind of the USB power sensor. Now it's green. The moment it's finished, it will stop blinking. And then now you can actually perform, you already performed the internal zero and cal on the sensor itself. So now you're ready to perform any measurement. However, if for a customer, if you guys think that, you know, you still need to perform another round of internal zero and cal, you can do that with our Keysight Benchfield software. So now let's take a look how we can perform the internal zero and cal using our Keysight Benchfield software. Okay, here we have a USB power sensor connected to our PC, which is running on the Keysight Benchfield software. And then the sensor is connected to a signal generator for the signal source itself. So now let us run the cal and zero on the USB power sensor. And let's see how fast that it takes. Okay, let's start our clock. This will normally take us a couple of seconds to complete the internal zero and cal. The moment it completed, it will have a pop-up message to tell you that it already completed the internal zero and cal in this case. So there you go. As you can see, the message has popped up and it only takes us about 17 seconds to complete the internal zero and cal using our Bensfuse software. So as you can see, this is way faster compared to the conventional method of performing internal zero and cal using the meter and sensor itself. Okay, oops, we didn't switch off the power source. So no worries, the sensor itself will block any signal coming into the sensor while performing the internal zero and calibration. So you do not need to worry about blowing your sensor bulkhead. So with these new features from Keysight, actually you can reduce your setup time, especially during early of your shift, and also reduce the wear and tear for the connectors itself when you plug in and unplug in from the meter itself. For more information about these wonderful features about our USB power sensor, please feel free to check out the webpage below. Thank you.